Welcome to a very special theater, managed by this man. Karol Adam is preparing for 2013, when Košice becomes one of the two European capitals of culture. His Roma theater, Romantan, is much more than folklore. It's become a symbol of cultural sophistication and socio-economic development. This is Košice, a city of 300,000 in eastern Slovakia. The old quarter is being groomed ahead of its year as European capital of culture. When I first came here, I encountered lots of Roma begging in the streets. Maybe it's the season, but now the only ones standing here are musicians. The cliché of gypsies doing nothing but playing music and begging is what the Romatan Theatre is working hard to dispel. Director Karol Adam assures me that Romatan's orchestra has a large repertoire of classical music as well. The musicians are professionals. They've studied at various conservatories. there are high standards for the actors, too. These all-round talents have to also be able to sing and dance. Choreographer Eva Adamova tells me the dancers take part in competitions. They modify the material to develop their own style. She's pleased that the work they do in the theater is reaching a wider public. Karol Adam has ambitious projects for next year. There's a music festival and a piece about a Roma composer who died in a concentration camp. But just weeks before the new year, funding still hasn't been approved. And then there's the theater's regular program, including a new play for children. The theater makers say their work is a constant struggle against racism. At a performance for school classes, juveniles in the audience began to shout, Gypsies out! Karl Adam thought he'd have to stop the show, but the actors went on with their mixture of dance and music. And at the end, the audience didn't want them to leave the stage. And, says Adam, the people said, these are not gypsies, they're artists. Prejudice against the Roma is widespread in Slovakia. Everyone I talk to confirms that. I ride to the edge of town to visit the Roma Media Center, a small private media company. It sees itself as an alternative to the mainstream press. Director Kristina Magdalenova is enthusiastic about her current campaign. She and her team are producing portraits of successful Roma for an exhibition. They include an interpreter, a painter, priests and teachers. Many people in this country can't imagine Roma having normal professions. She blames the supposedly well-meaning Roma projects for this attitude. They always present same people. And majority sometimes thinks that we have here in Slovakia maybe 10 Roma people with education. And if you, if you control a project, you see always the same people. And our idea was to present people who majority don't know, but who are very successful. For example, the woman the team is photographing today for the exhibition. Romani radio reporter Etela Matova is preparing her weekly broadcast about her people. It's popular with non-Roma as well. 
Today she is presenting a well-known Romani actor, Ferko Balog. Etela Matova hopes it sends a message to all Roma children. She explains how much her interviews with well-known or highly educated Roma mean to her. They show people how they can take control of their lives and change them. It may be difficult, she says. Roma children may have to struggle extra hard in school. But with an education, they have a chance to realize their dreams. To meet up with actor Ferko Balog, I leave the Roma projects and head to the municipal theater. This is where Košic says cultured middle class comes for entertainment. It's the middle of the week, but tonight's performance is sold out. On stage is a comedy set in World War II, a comedy with a serious background. It's about abuse of power and collaborators. Ferko Balog has been on staff here for the past four years. He's the only Roma in the company, but he says he's used to that. He was also the only Roma at his acting school. The 30-year-old is well-known in Slovakia, mainly thanks to his TV appearances. Balog is a role model, a Roma who has made it. He was raised in a children's home where he received encouragement and support. Now he says he wants to pass that on to others. He says he's proud to be a Roma and to benefit from his special abilities. He wants to give some of that to Romani kids. That's why he often holds theater workshops for children. And he works together with non-profit organizations that specialize in Roma projects for children from socially disadvantaged areas. One such area is Lunik 9, just 15 minutes from the center of Košice. The apartment complex was originally built for 2,500 residents, but there may be as many as 7,000 Roma living here. No one seems to know for sure. Now that Košice is becoming a capital of culture, interest in the city's Roma has grown. This woman expresses anger about the conditions here. She says she has no electricity or water, despite the cold weather. One of the few functioning institutions in Lunik 9 is the kindergarten. Director Anna Klepachova works intensively with the children. Now many of them are no longer shunted into special needs schools, but even make it to regular high schools. And some of the mothers find work here. Anna Klepačova says the Lunik 9 kindergarten project offers some women their first chance at a job. Even if it's just an employment program, they have a contract. People have to get used to the rhythm of work, the educator says. They have to get used to the idea of coming in for a certain amount of hours and getting paid for it. Outside the kindergarten, few have heard that Košice is to be the capital of culture. It's new to this mother. Her friend says she heard on TV that funding for Roma projects has been diverted to other purposes. I asked the program director of the capital of culture, Christian Optiron, but he can't confirm that claim. He tells me he's in charge of the agenda of projects in the individual districts. We know we can't change the social situation or it would it's ask more than uh, money from cultural fields but uh, from many other fields. So that, that was also for us like kind of clear limit of 
what unfortunately we are not able uh, um, to change. But uh, we thought really that in developing um, cooperation with several organizations that already know the field very, very good, it's for us the best way to have the things like um, long term. I go to take a look at one of those long term projects. This one is also investing in children and promoting their artistic talent. Located half an hour's drive from Košice in Chansa, it's a dance club in the local culture center. Most of the young people have been involved in this project for two years. Some have been dancing since they were small. Here, they're able to mix their own special beat. One of the young men has been taken on at the Romatan Roma Theater. The others also often perform in public. She says she's glad that they not only do Roma dances, but learn Brazilian capoeira too. The organizer of the social inclusion program, Milka Kachmonchikova, is proud that some of the kids want to become professional dancers. This is a way to promote and show the majority that the Roma actually can do something that's very tangible, that's very organic and that's very catchy and you want to jo simply join in dance with them. I've only visited a few of the projects in Košice, the 2013 capital of culture but I'm convinced that they're already giving a boost to the Romani people here.